Back to 3D piping. This is now my 3D piping. As you see, I have no equipment, no steel. So in this case, I want to start with add the XREF into my piping model. So I do have the reference points I need to do my piping. Easy to do. Start with XREF. Select drawings. Attach drawing. In this case, start with the steel model. Open it. And since we're working with absolute coordinates, then I select 0, 0, 0. Same thing with the equipment. Open it. Attach the drawing. Go to the equipment. And select the equipment. And again, 0, 0, 0. And close it. Now I have the necessary models so I can do my 3D piping. Let's take a little look. If you look at my menu, you will see I have CS300 components, but I miss for AC21 and I miss for BC21 because this is two specs I will use in this model. We talked about how easy to create a tool palette created by the spec, so I will show you. We create something we call a spec viewer. We open a spec viewer. As you see here, this is my specs. List up all the spec we have in the projects. I select the AC21, select the header file, and then easily create a tool palette. As you see, it automatically bring all the components from the spec into tool palettes. So if you then, as we also will do, add some component into the spec, then we also will see this component will appear in the tool palette. And I also want to create one for BC21. Same thing, select the header file and then create tool palette. That took us about 20 seconds. Then you can see how flexible it is. Okay, remember the PND drawing we talked about. We create a line in the PND from the heat exchanger to the tank. The same thing we will do the 3D. As you will see, you will see I will probably not touch this menu because I will pick every information from the PND. I will show you three ways to do the piping. I will show you the from the PND and I also in the end will show you create a new pipe in the 3D. And then we will do something called a validation. We will validate between the PND and the 3D. I will come back to that a little later. Okay, let's take a look here. If you look at the pipe routing, if you take a look at line number selection, as you see here, this is the existing line number we have in our 3D model. And we also have the ability to select show all line numbers. When you select that one, it's also listed up all the line numbers we have in the PND drawing also. So in this case, remember the line number we created, 5544. But we can also select that from a PID list line list. So when we select that one, the line list appears and we can also select from which drawing. In this case, we have three PND drawings, actually two and one assembly. And this was the PND 01. So select 01. I go down to my line number and this is my line number. If you then expand that one, it gives me 6 inch AC21 SO5544. And if you expand it more, you will see the bottom of valves with the tag number. So easily enough, I just select the line number and then place and select the node point and then select the node point on the tank and that's it. As you see I have no sex solution I can select between. What I mean by that is it gives me six different routings. So if I don't now select the next one, as you see, it changed. So then I can select the one I like, or that's it's the suitable one. So in this case, I find that one, and that will be, in this case, this one. And then I select Accept. So now you have the pipe, as you see. The second thing I want to do, add the valves. And remember, we talked about the visibility. In this case, I want to remove the steel section. So I can select, hide selected, and then just select the steel. And we hide it. As you see, it's better. 
it's easier to see. So we start with the gate valve, place it, and it's an inline valve. Select the pipe and select the rotation for your top works. And the same thing with the ball valve. Place, select the line, it's inline valve, and place it. Very simple, as you see. That's it. Then I can close this one. Let's take a look what we did. If we then look at the pipe, right click and look at the properties, you will see the line number and the spec. So we didn't type anything, we actually didn't touch this menu, the tool palettes. And if you look at the valves too, same thing, look at the valve, go to property and say, take a look, GA3449. So that's the tag number for the valve. So everything we brought over from the PND. And again, we didn't use the tool palette at all to insert the components. So that's the automatic routing from the PND. Remember we talked about the bypass. Well, easily again, I used the cube to change the, to the different view. It's very easy to do. I do that. And again, let's see this tank. Well, I want to have only the pipe. So again, it's very easy to use tool, hide selected, select equipment, and there you go. What I want to do, add a pipe between these two T's, reducing T. So, and I also want to select it from a PND list. So again, I select from PND, regardless what it says about and signed on the, on the name, on the pipe, I select the PND list, go to the line lists, and that was 11.23. I believe it was. So we look at 11.23. Yes, it is. In this case, you will see some different things. The user actually typed, actually selected the wrong spec because the spec of this pipe is actually BC21, and that's the main pipe, as you see here. This is 6 inch. Then we take a look at the 3 inch. And if you then place it because the, the user didn't type the correct spec, then let's see what's happening or how you can change it. Place, and then you can select the spec from here and then also, of course, the size. And OK. Select the node point. And the node point. And there you go. Accept it. The second thing I want to do, add the valve, of course. Select the valve, place, and then again, since it says the wrong spec, I select the correct spec and the correct size, and place it as an inland valve on the pipe, and that's it. And then give, of course, rotation for your actuators. Then I can close it. That's the basic with pipe. We can also, again, start with a pipe on another pipe. So if I then want to insert something, as on this pipe, I can select the valve. In this case, if you take a look at it, I'm not sure what kind of dimension or whatever. It's a BC21 and a 6 inch, okay. Then I select the BC21, find the, the valve I want to use, select it, select the pipe, and there you go. and then give it rotation for your top works. It's also very easy to change. You can actually click on it and then you can replace the valve with the selected substitute part and then you can select and change it to, let's say, a check valve. That should be a, a flanged one. And it changes it for you. So, and if you want to go with another pipe, just select the pipe and see the plus sign, start with the pipe and give it elevation to a new elevation and then you can keep on with the pipe. So that's the basic thing with the pipe. 